Hello and welcome to WPLMS updates. In the latest update of the WPLMS attendance plugin, we have added the attendance widget for the dashboards. So to add the widget in the dashboard, you can simply go to your WordPress admin panel appearance widgets. And here you'll see two widgets. So one is my attendance, which is the attendance for students. And the other is student attendance, which is for instructors when they want to see the student attendance of across all the courses that they are instructing. So first we'll take the my attendance. I've added this to my dashboard and saved it. And when I view the dashboard, I see this widget. So it will show the results in the on in the recency. So today is 22nd. So it will show the results from 22nd and in the decreasing order based on the activity which is recorded when a student is marked as present. So the important point to note is that this is a progressive web app, which means that the data is loaded only once to enhance the user experience. For example, if you go to the second page, it makes a server hit and loads the data from the server. But if you go back to the first page, it won't make any hit because the data is already loaded. Similarly, when you want to select from a course, for example, so here the result is so here the result is immediately displayed from the set which is loaded and to load the exact result from the server you can always click on go and it will fetch the result from the server similarly you can select a date and sort the results Okay, so this was my attendance for the student and now we can remove this and see the instructor version so I'll just add this to my dashboard widget and you can say this is my students attendance and we can reload our dashboard So here as you can see we are seeing another field which is the student and it is showing the student data and the dates at which she was present. So you can quickly check this out. So just to show how, how you can set the attendance for uh, courses. Now let's pick any course so here we can see that we are getting all courses software training so let's pick up any other course okay and let's edit this course and set the attendance schedule for it so in the components and here course attendance you can set the attendance schedule okay you can set the past schedule as well so in future updates will also enable a upload schedule button in this area so we save the course components and then we view the course in the admin area okay so we are going to add the student first So we add the student okay so after adding the student to the course we can set the attendance so only those dates are highlighted which are available for the schedule for the marking of attendance so here we can mark the attendance as present 
and again we are going to build a up CSV uploader in the future updates and for these we can mark as absent so now if you notice this that for each of this if you go to the activity of the user you will see that there is a attendance recorded for this particular user marked as absent absent attendance okay so now if we go to our dashboard and here we'll reload because we now have new data and here as you can see we are getting the last updated which is sorted by date the attendance for the users and you can sort them by any particular user and you can search for any user and then hit search to get all the results across of the user across all the courses that you are instructing as an instructor similarly you can fetch for a particular date on a particular course for a particular student and you can see if there is any data for it that's it from WPLMS updates thanks for watching